Hi, welcome back to another episode of Mr. Leon Artwork. Today we're doing part two of Paradolia Effect. Basically just using the same, uh, it's just showing in demonstration that you could use the same outline of the same cloud, for example, I used in my prior video and create something completely different. Uh, in this one, we're going to be doing the light and the light's glare, and we're starting off first with the monk. Starting out off first with the face. To use the Pareidolia effect is to use the mind's imagination to see figures where there isn't. In this case, the monk will be mostly shaded as he it will be sitting within the a cave system or within a cave, which is a lot darker. Here, I'm just basically imagining what kind of clothes the monk is wearing and kind of placing it on the figure itself. How would the clothes overlap? Where the wrinkles would be on the clothing? All that needs to be thought up of and placed within. Here I'm trying to get a feel for about where the hands would be sitting or resting. It may take me a bit to actually, for example, lay them down exactly the way I want to. Make sure I have the length right in proportion to a body. Basically, he will have his hands over his knees and his legs will be crossed under the clothing. Adding in shading, wrinkles to the clothing, because it's more like a one-piece kind of clothing, sort of like a poncho. So that's why you only see one foot within the actual drawing itself, as the other one's probably hiding within the actual uh, clothing itself.
as I mentioned, most of this figure will be shaded as he's sitting inside a cave and the light source is coming from behind him. Here I'm also adding buttons as clothing either have zippers, buttons, or they're one piece all together in order holding it onto the actual character's body. The folds on resting clothes. basically a little bit to more uh, shading as well as adding more details to the actual monk himself. Darkening places I feel that need to go darker. start adding in the cave entrance, kind of showing the outline of the entrance and the rocks that hang from the roof of the cave at the entrance. And we move on to the second figure, which is sitting in the back in the entrance of the cave, just observing the monk, seeing what the monk is doing observing the calmness of the meditation itself. At first I wanted him to have an outstretched hand kind of touching the entrance of the actual cave itself but then I actually kind of changed my mind and go for a different position as well. Trying to take advantage of the darker spot of this cloud to actually add, make it like if it's the shading of the actual character himself. Trying to figure out the outline of where I want him to be. Details, shading, folds in the clothes. This person will be wearing sandals. As I go, I'm kind of still figuring out where I'm gonna lay things. Here I'm placing the stone where he will be sitting on. There I was kind of thinking of adding a staff to his hand, but I decided to go have his hands or arms resting on his knee as well. I 
character have a beard, mustache, and long hair. If you guys find a resemblance in this figure, you guys might be right. Since this figure is a little bit smaller, it's a little bit harder to add the details I want into such tight spaces, but I do try to work that in. Now, where the monk is actually sitting, below him there is a pool of water so I am starting to add in the ripples of that water kind of to represent the movement of and fluidity of the, the water itself because you could say the water dynamics using the cloud to my advantage to kind of simulate the shading of the monk below as well and against the water. I start adding in the actual outside world uh, outside of the cave, adding mountains in the background as well as tr a tree line that as they get closer, the trees get closer, the bigger they get, of course. So my vantage point or my perspective point is actually at the tip of all these trees right below the mountains themselves. small little lakeside then I start adding in all the basically pencil marks to kind of represent the rock walls give them like that hard edge that you see sometimes kind of fracturing or refracting uh, making the rocks seem different and personalized Adding in any detail I feel I missed. Blades of grass. in the trees just adding in random shading as nothing in life is truly symmetrical adding more details to the cave walls
shading for the second figure. And there you have it. How to use Pareidolia, the Pareidolia effect, with the same cloud and making two different artworks. So this is the light and the light's glare, and part one was Ashes of Authority. I thank you for watching. I hope you like, share, and subscribe, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you, and have an amazing day.